This video is sponsored by LifeDo. LifeDo makes an amazing car camping fire pit and grill. Simply place the grill rack and now you can cook your food on this awesome fire pit. Take it anywhere you go while camping or on the road. Click on the link below and get yours ordered today or simply visit their website. Let me know if you see anything that'll catch your eye. Amazing heavies in this one. Welcome back to another adventure, miners, prospectors, and rock counters. It's always good to see you all back at the channel. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you like what you see in this adventure and you decide to subscribe. I'm back at the Crater Diamond State Park. We're gonna work the West Drain, see if we can get a diamond out of that West Drain. All my videos, I've been in the East Drain, the Snake Pit, the South Trench, Fugus Bank. There's so many more places to work out here. You got Beatty's Hill, the North Drain, the West Drain, the Pig Pen, so many more places. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on is getting material from these other spots and see if they're going to produce diamonds. Behind me is Canary Hill. There's been tons of Canary Yellow Diamonds found off of Canary Hill. We're also gonna be talking about how many buckets do you need when you come to the Crater Diamond State Park, whether you are a tourist, a beginner, or a real true rock hounder and wanna load your buckets up with material. And the key is having a good set of classifiers something that has depth deeper your classifiers are the better because if your classifiers are real thin that's all the material you're going to be able to hold in it while you wash the mud out that's why i make my classifiers like four and a half inches deep that way a whole bucket of material can fit and i'm getting my full buckets of concentrated material out the door each day and that's how we find our diamonds if you can get a full bucket of concentrated material from your bottom classifier, you will get diamonds. You can rent mining equipment here at the Crater Diamond State Park. Their classifiers aren't like mine that I'll make, but they are a 12 by 12 like these, but they're only two inches deep, just like the bottom screen. It's only the bottom classifier. It's only two inches deep. That's not gonna give you much material. And the key is to get as much material as you can work through that top classifier. And if your wire mesh doesn't look like this, woven, you are not going to get very far because sooner or later that wire mesh is going to bust on you and you will not be able to mine until you get another classifier. That's why I make them like this. They're heavy duty. They don't ever break. The stuff that's being sold in town is a joke. You're wasting your money. There is actually a couple in Murfreesboro that offer mining lessons and they loan you the equipment to come out here and mine for diamonds and it's good equipment. It's the good stainless steel wire mesh. It's not that cheap stuff like the rest of the town is trying to sell and scam people with their cheap $25 classifiers. That stuff won't last out here. You want a good set of classifiers and you want more than two buckets when you come out here. Two buckets will not get you anywhere out here, especially if there's two of you or three of you because each person can take home a bucket of worked material. You don't have to make centers. You can work it and fill up your buckets and then go home and make your centers when you get back to your house. That's what I do. I focus on filling up these buckets with material from my bottom classifier. So really, you need about three buckets if you're coming out here by yourself or four buckets because you're gonna need two to go get material each time. And then you'll come back to your wash tub and you'll work your buckets down to your bottom classifier. All that material you will dump into a bucket. So sooner or later, that bucket's gonna be filled up. And then when you need more material, you're just down to one bucket. And it is not fun to carry one bucket out here so it's good to have about four to five buckets when you come out to the Crater Diamond State Park. 
when I go home, I want buckets of material, not a small cup or coffee can. That's not going to get me a diamond. All right, that's basically all I need to work the surface. Buckets and a shovel, some gloves. Right now it's time to get the buckets, the shovel, and head over to the west drain. That's the end of the west drain. There's some yellow markers. That's the out of bounds line. And the west drain goes all the way up, all the way up to that pavilion. So all oh, that's the west drain over that tree line past the cages and you'll get down to where the water is let's get over there and take a look all right we are almost the west drain just on the other side of those cages will be the west drain it looks like the crater of diamonds has not been plowing over here at all a lot of grass All right, I'm down in the west drain. This is it. And it goes all the way up behind me, like pretty good ways. And check out all this gravel. Quite a bit of gravel built up. That's the west drain right there. The drains normally have water flowing through them all the time. So that'll tell you that you're in the drain. But man, that looked good. I better hurry up, get my buckets out, start scooping up material. There's a lot of it. Oh, here they come. I better hurry up. So I'm working my way down to the out of bounds, which is the yellow signs. And there's an inside bend that was blowed out right there. I don't know if y'all can see that inside bend. The water's coming down right here. And right there it goes to make an inside bend. And right there along that inside bend, it's just loaded with material. If I were you, I would get down in the west drain and work some of this material because it is loaded with gravel. And there's not hardly anybody down here working this spot. All right, I got my buckets lined out. That's what I like to do. I like to get my buckets lined out where I'm gonna get my gravel and it kind of claims your spot because there is a rule called an encroachment rule. You can't come out here and get in somebody's spot that already has their buckets lined up. You gotta go somewhere else. They've already claimed it. You can't just jump down in here and work where I'm working. That's an encroachment rule that will not slide out here. There's plenty of gravel for everybody. There's tons of spots you can dig. You don't have to just get right where somebody's digging. So I got my buckets lined out. Now it's time to fill them up. Go get them washed. It doesn't take long to fill your buckets up with this stuff. Stuff. Went ahead and got two more buckets because this stuff is awesome. awesome. All the buckets are filled up, ready to go. We got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. I guess we got an odd, an odd number. That'll work. Sometimes that odd number is the one that has the diamond. Tons of gravel along that inside bend, this inside bend, that inside bend. There's another inside bend. And you know what? I don't think I got much of that one. 
I work this uh, water area because to me the diamonds are going to fall in the water. They don't like water. They are trying to swim out, but the weight and the flow and them being heavy seems like they're going to fall more in the water. All right, let's get these buckets washed. 13 buckets from the west drain. Let's get them cleaned. Check out the centers. All right, so here is the first bucket out of the west drain. And it looks like the same material in the east drain. Because for the past 20 years plus they've been taking material and mixing it all up so it's hard to tell where the material really came from since it's all mixed up but this is definitely diamond ore a little bit of gravel not much red jasper there's a small piece so you can see the difference compared to digging a hole reaching the gravel veins versus working the surface. Second bucket, piece of agate, and that is completely burnt. No color, it got so hot that it just completely burnt up. And that's the agate we don't want to see. That means your diamonds are probably going to be pretty ugly. Seeing some red jasper. All right, let's go ahead and scrape the bottom classifier. See if we have any heavies. First bucket. And there's a little bit. I see gravel, spinel. Oh my gosh, I think I see a diamond. Saving all, all the goodies right here. We'll add that to the goodies. Agate, it's all agate conglomerate. A little bit of gravel. Most of that's the lamp right, the host rock. lamp right with other minerals that's been mixed making it not 100% lamp right here's the fifth bucket not bad seeing more and more heavy minerals which will lead us to a diamond so if I brought two buckets Here's my bucket full of material. When I work it, I'll have this material. So that's why you're gonna need more than two buckets when you come out here. You need a, a couple buckets to put that in. Round two, making centers from the west drain. And they are looking amazing. Look at all that spinel. We're seeing all the good indicators. There's some hematite right there at the tip of my finger, that black rock. And the spinel is the black shiny rocks. So we're seeing all the good heavy indicators we want to see to find diamonds in the west drain. So if I were you, I would go to the west drain. It's been known to produce really nice diamonds. I might see one out of this. And here's the next center. Not near as many heavies, but we're still seeing good indicators. Spinel, hematite, red jasper. All right. All right, that's gonna wrap it up here at the Crater Diamond State Park. We worked the west drain, 
some buckets were good loaded with heavy minerals and some really had nothing but the ones with nothing can still produce a really nice diamond just a matter of working the material running it through a nice classifier set where you can run high volumes of material that's the key small classifier equals little gravel big classifiers equal a lot of gravel so let's head over to texas and see if we got a diamond we are now in texas time to get some centers made up here at the house And here's the material from the West Drain. Yeah, it looks okay. I really like that material deep down, straight from the gravel veins, but sometimes those big diamonds are in this material just right on the surface, down in the drains, in the low spots. And here is some material from a hole. This is the James Archer gravel video coming out soon. You see how there's so much more gravel in this compared to the West Drain. Oh man, that's going to be good. My last video with the fancy yellow diamond come out of this material. And that's the same material from that hole right here. I've got a little bit more to work. It was the upper layer. Maybe that'll have a diamond. And this material right here is from underneath the buckets. I was able to get back in that area and I dug two of the buckets out and got a little bit of the diamond ore. Unfortunately, I had to fill in my hole. It started cramping up really bad. But yeah, there's some material coming up in some videos some James Archer and we might have got a diamond out of that material but right now let's go ahead and get this material from the west drain centered up and see if we got any diamonds here on the centers some of you may be like what in the heck is this yep those are quartz crystals to help increase my energy field for big diamonds and all these crystals that you see, when you buy five bags or more of my pay dirt at once, I throw one of those big crystals in as a bonus. These are from Ron Coleman, and they're not all that small. Remember, five bags or more at once, and you'll get one of these crystals thrown in as a bonus. Okay, got round one, four flips, and there's a little, little bit of material left, maybe three more flips, and they are looking good out of the west drain. If I were you, I would give the west drain a try because it's loaded with heavy minerals, as you can see. And here's the next center. Let me know if you see anything that'll catch your eye. Amazing heavies in this one. All this material is going to be going to my Patreons. Monthly packages. All element and gemstone collectors over on my Patreon account will be getting these heavy minerals in their pay dirt. They will get to go over the final step. That's searching through all the material on the pizza pan. There could be some diamonds in this stuff. This is when it's really hard to see the one points, the two points, the three points, the four point diamonds. When you have centers like this, there's so many heavy minerals. And if you have barite, your diamonds could be underneath the barite since it's so much heavier.
And on the very last center, on the very last flip, I see a nice garnet right up there by my fingertip. It is center of the frame. Yeah, these centers are looking great. Can't wait to get it all worked and scoop my diamonds out with my spoon. And I can't wait to hear about my Patreons finding diamonds in their pay dirt. That's all the material. Round number two. They look really good. Check out all those heavy minerals. Man. They're all wet. Need to let them dry. Then I'll scan them. Hopefully I'll see some diamonds. Scoop the rest of it up and bag it up. Ship it out. crazy we are seeing everything we need to see to find diamonds spinel garnet magnetite magnetite everything we need to see barite lots of gravel see all the gravel right on this outer edge and most of my diamonds out of my 46 diamonds they're mainly found right here on this edge. This whole thing is your center, all the way out to here. Here's all your lamprite and bareca. But this is mainly all gravel. Then you get to your really heavy minerals. And some of these are heavier than the diamonds. That's why we end up seeing diamonds in this. And on the second one, right in there, I can see something buried. You see that? There's something down there nice and shiny. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? Ooh. And it is a piece of quartz. Yep, that's quartz. Rough, sharp edges, really lightweight. All the equipment that I use, I have links in the description below. You can click on those links. And if you purchase through those links, it helps me out a lot. I get a small commission. And here's the ore wagon that was found below the surface at the Crater of Diamonds by Bobby. That's it. And there's more down there. Who will find the next one?